And so I'm thinking to myself, why in the world have I not done this before for any of my weddings? It's been a while since you've seen this view. <laughs> oh man, I have been all over the place lately, which is awesome. And I know I'm gonna be sharing those videos with you pretty much throughout the rest of the months, probably into the winter months, just to kind of not bombard you with everything all at once. So I shared my Sturgis trip, pretty much my out west trip, because it ended up heading into Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, and then coming back to Sturgis and South Dakota area. But then I went down to Vegas and rented through Eagle Rider there. So I did Zion, I did Bryce Canyon, and then I did Mount Charleston um, as well near the Vegas area. Then the weekend after that, I went to the Smoky Mountains and rented um, my first street glide and rode through like Pigeon Forge and the Chirahala, Chirahala Skyway did the dragon all of that stuff so all of that is going to come and plus even a surprise cameo from my husband who took military leave for a little bit too so that all will be <laughs> on its way here shortly but i wanted to do a normal moto vlog on my actual bike because my channel is going to be filled with all sorts of bikes <laughs> bigger bikes than my little sporty. So I rode a Scout Bobber, I rode a Heritage, I rode a Lowrider, I did a Street Glide, I did an Indian Chieftain, I did an Indian Challenger. Oh, I don't even know. There's probably more, but that's my list, um, at least for right now since I've been moto vlogging this episode. There's probably more to come. But I'm on my way to... A wedding I'm if most of you guys do not know already I am a wedding photographer and I photograph weddings pretty much as my free freelance full-time gig and this is the first day I and the first time I should say that I've actually ridden my bike to a wedding <laughs> normally I have a crap ton of gear with me and I need to take my car but today my bride and groom are actually doing a very small intimate ceremony with their family and close friends, pretty much their bridal party. And that's, that's it. So I am going to be there for about two hours capturing their ceremony, their family photos, and just some photos of the bride and groom. And so I pretty much just need my essentials and I can fit everything in my backpack. And it makes it easier for babysitter to just take my vehicle and pick up the kids. Thankfully, um, that I can not have to worry about transferring over car seats and all of that. So I figured this is a good time to try it. It's a gorgeous fall weekend. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. 70s, high 70s right now. The fall colors are pretty much just getting to that peak if not almost there and so sorry I'm I turned my GPS down but apparently it wasn't down far enough <laughs> I can still hear it and I'm sure you guys can hear it too but yeah I <laughs> I feel a little out of sorts just because I would have a lot of stuff with me but I'm not photographing reception I don't need a flash I don't need all that extra that comes with just being prepared. I've got my two camera bodies, I've got extra sets of batteries, extra cards, extra lenses, the things I truly need, I can all fit in a backpack. And so I'm thinking to myself, why in the world have I not done this before for any of my weddings? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's just because I'm just on, there shouldn't be, I shouldn't feel unsafe because I've got everything with me. I think it's because so I am there for about six, eight, ten hours throughout the entire day, and by the time I leave, it is dark right after their first dances. And maybe that's why just from 
being on my feet for that amount of time and then getting on a bike, riding at night with all the equipment, maybe that's, maybe that's why. I'm talking a reasonable response out in my head and I think that's, that's the reason. But there was no excuse to not do it today. I'm super pumped to take this hour drive north and um, just hang out with hang out with them, celebrate their wedding, and um, there will be a like a big reception hopefully next year for them, but this is a very big moment for the two of them, and I'm glad I get to do this on my bike. Like, it's awesome. I'm sure they're gonna be very surprised with me showing up to the ceremony <laughs> on my bike, but you gotta love it. So, uh, let's get up to Hortonville. I have a 45 minute drive, so I'm just going to put on my radio and just jam out, relax, and we'll see you after the wedding. I'm on the freeway, interstate, I guess you could say. And so if it's really noisy, sorry, but sticking with the wedding theme here, and I wanted to shout out one of my grooms. <laughs> Every time I go on this highway, I see his face and I was like, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> So, I think he's the third one, fourth one maybe? Yeah, he's the fourth guy, right over there. <laughs> That's awesome. They get married in a little less than a month actually from now, so. <laughs> That's awesome, I love it. Okay, back to riding. So, I just finished my wedding. It's a backyard wedding at their grandparents' house. And he has a Ford and a GTO. <laughs> so we got some pictures with it. And Grandpa actually did a burnout. We're in a burnout coming back in too, so it was awesome. Should have got it on video. But I had to photograph it because I'm here to photograph weddings. <laughs> so let's head back out on the road. Pretty much all of my camera gear fit into this bag. So it was a little heavy for an hour drive but worth it especially with the sunset coming through so let's get on the road I love I love the feeling after photographing a wedding it like how do I explain this I come off of so much of a high adrenaline just fun overall fantastic day like nothing can go wrong even if something does go wrong you're celebrating the two of them and everybody has that same mentality. So it just makes it a blast. But then it's also like, oh gosh, I have so many hours now at my computer editing away <laughs> to share these photos. So <laughs> I try not to think about that and just really share some of the sneak peeks right after I'm done with the wedding. and live in that moment for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. But it's gorgeous. I love it. So of course I push it too far and I'm like three miles away from the gas station and I'm running out of gas. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Just gotta make it to the quick trip. God dang it Winnie. But there was literally no gas stations around <laughs> All right, I'm on reserve. I got five minutes and three miles. You can make it. You can make it. <laughs> God, I fucking hope so. God dang it all. It never fails. Leave it up to me to run out of gas. Thank God it was after the wedding. Like I knew I had enough to get all the way up there and I was like, all right, I'm gonna stop on the way out and I haven't seen a gas station yet. So this literally is my first gas station. <laughs> I need a more touring bike for my weddings if I'm gonna ride. That way I can put all of the gear in the saddlebags and it's not weighing down on my back right now because yeah. This is where I need a fuel gauge, guys. <laughs> I need an updated bike. We're just gonna cruise through. <laughs> Damn. Oh. It's always an adventure. 
adventure when I'm riding the sporty. And most of those adventures include running out of gas. Thank you, peanut tank. We made it. Literally running on fumes here. Quick trip saves the day again. Golly, Whitney, never fails. Let's get a little farther out of the way from the gas tank. Okay, neutral. Okay, turn you back on to fuel. On. <laughs> Of course, I have to get gas all over me in the tank. <laughs> but that's the largest I think I've ever had to pay for my little peanut tank. Almost seven bucks. Or eight bucks. Alright. Kelly, <laughs> just freaking reek like gas now. It's a good smell, right? A good cologne. <laughs> Let's go get something to eat quick and be on our way. So I totally had to get some cookie dough. Too delicious not to. We'll sit in the quick trip parking lot with the sun or sunset if you can see it. <laughs> 